So back in July, the long-awaited pink-coated live-action movie of the iconic Mattel doll Barbie was released. The film was an immediate hit and grossed over $600 million, becoming the highest-earning film of the year. Twin Cities Live's movie critic Paul McGuire Grimes sat down with the one and only Margot Robbie, big get, to find out what makes Barbie so special. My show, Twin Cities Live, we had a whole Barbie-themed day to celebrate this movie. We had people coming to the theater in droves that haven't been to the theater in years. There were friends, family showing up in clothes. What does that mean to you of this community that you brought forth? It made me so happy. I mean, movie, movies are my favorite thing in the whole world. Movie theaters are my favorite place to be other than on movie sets. So to see everyone have this communal experience, this unifying effect the movie seemed to have, the unifying effect the color pink seemed to have was just mind boggling. And the best part, I mean, the bit that made me happiest was all the dudes that showed up. You know, I, I snuck around theaters on opening weekend with a mask on and a hat on and just listened to people's conversations. I saw teenage guys in groups I, I, I was in a pub in Scotland and heard a, there was a group of guys on a bachelor party. Just, they discussed, without knowing I was sitting right next to them, they discussed the movie, the, the Barbie movie for like 30 minutes. It was genuinely thought provoking and, and, and interesting to them. And anyways, there, I, I have numerous stories where it kind of hit, hit me in surprising ways like that. What do I have to do? You have to go to the real world. You can go back to your regular life, or you can know the truth about the universe. The choice is now yours. You learned the history about Barbie the toy and its creator, Ruth Handler. What did you learn about yourself along this way, and what empowered you throughout this process? The most empowering thing about this process was, I mean, Greta, mainly. She is like a real life Barbie in the sense that, you know, the Mattel slogan for Barbie is Barbie can, Barbie is everything and you can be anything. I actually find that a little, that notion a little overwhelming. Um, <laughs> but Greta is kind of like Barbie. She, she can be your best friend and she can also be the leader on set and captain this enormous ship. And I don't think people appreciate enough how it is a completely different skill set to run a set that big. But I'm a man. But not a doctor. Can I talk to a doctor? You are talking to a doctor. Can I need a clicky pen? No. A sharp thing? No. There he is. Doctor! Somebody get security. So much fun. Okay, if you're looking for something a little more Christmassy this weekend, there is a fun new movie on Netflix, and this one is starring Melissa McCarthy. Oh, I love her. It's a fairy tale about a workaholic man who enlists the help of a magical genie to help him win his family back before Christmas. So Paul got to chat with the writer and the director about the film. Oh, oh my God. Who are you? I am a genie. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Your wish is my command. Okay. I wish I had my very own camel. Ah! I yeah. love the Christmas time in New York City. I think it's so magical. What do you most love about it? And why is it the quintessential location for a Christmas movie? I think New York at Christmas is is just, you know, as magic as it gets. I think the city, even without Christmas, is 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 really magical and kind of heightens everything. You know, I've gotten I've been very lucky to shoot a few things in New York, but I think it's a place that just always kind of, you know, you bring them, you, you, you bring a certain amount of magic to it that's, you know, whether you have spent time there or you haven't, it's kind of the city of, of people's dreams, I think. I wish I had large pizza, pepperoni, extra cheese. This is just a triangle of red bread. Christmas movies are so much part of our traditions like we were talking about. What memories do you have of watching Christmas movies with your family growing up? I mean, of course, you couldn't choose what you watched in those days. The two that I remember most strongly are White Christmas, because my dad was a huge Bing Crosby fan. And then the Charlie Brown Christmas animation. So those were my, those are the two that I remember us watching all the time. What do you call it? Oh, sanitizer. Sanitizer. Mmm, zesty. <laughs>
looks fun. That does look fun. All right, for uh, updates and reviews of movies and streaming services, visit Paul's website, paulstriptothemovies.com. Also remember, Paul's monthly movie series at Imagine Theaters in Egan takes place the fourth Sunday of every month at 3 p.m. So on December 17th, catch the Judy Garland classic, Meet Me in St. Louis. Uh, I love it. All right, Twin Cities Live's movie trip is brought to you by Muska Lighting. And you know what? You can spread the holiday joy with a Muska Lighting gift card. We're back to wrap things up right after this. Thanks to Muska Lighting for sponsoring TCL's movie trip. Our mudroom fixture from Muska Lighting is a total showstopper. We get compliments from everyone who walks through the door. Talk to the experts at Muska Lighting in Roseville and Eden Prairie for help finding the perfect light for you.